Hey guys, thanks for stopping by iDub. My name is Tyson. I'm here with John Davidson, product manager for gloves here at Bauer. Um, he's here to kind of give us the rundown on the gloves, a little bit of insight on them. Um, so how about you kind of give us the breakdown of why you guys have developed these three distinct glove lines? Uh, well, we focus on kind of the three distinct fits because, uh, you know, just spending a lot of time with consumers, especially at, at different events, uh, we, we've definitely learned that, you know, the, the fit of the glove is a characteristic that uh, you can't pinpoint mm -hmm. into kind of one one uh, one particular customer. Uh, every customer has a very unique uh, kind of profile that they're looking for in terms of a glove, and we felt like uh, with the three kind of profiles that we have, we were able to kind of cater towards uh, a wide range of consumers out in the out in the marketplace. Yeah. So um, you know, kind of going into the different fits, how about you kind of give us the the rundown of the fit you guys were going after on the Vapor series. Okay, so in the in the Vapor series, uh, we we're introducing the X60 Pro this year. Uh, what we focus on here is kind of the happy medium between our, our three glove lines. So mm -hmm. last last season, we brought out to the marketplace a Supreme glove that was a very anatomical fitting. So you know, very close to the hand. Uh, you know, uh, very snug, very little room. Uh, meanwhile, we still had our four-roll glove that was very traditional fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, what we tried to do with the, with, in terms of fit with the Vapor is just find that nice, happy medium uh, and re really de define what a, what a Vapor glove uh, and how it fits in, in the marketplace. Okay. So um, what kind of player would you say is going to prefer the Vapor series? Uh, it's hard to pinpoint uh, into what, what type of players mm -hmm. uh, this is, it's really geared for. Again, it's, it's down to kind of the, the player personal person, preference. Yeah, personal preference of the player. Um, you know, uh, a player that's coming off of a, a more traditional fit, uh, that's looking for a little bit less slop, I, you know, that's, that's who this, this player is, is, is catered towards. So. Great. Um, and then I, the materials using on the gloves, a yep. um, little bit of different materials. Um, sure. So I, I have the pro version here, and yep. you have the, the X60. What, um, I mean, you use the cable mesh right Correct. down the middle on both of them. What uh, kind of benefits can someone expect from that? Okay, well, uh, when we look at, uh, at the X60, for instance, mm -hmm. we're using, uh, we're using uh, synthetic PU leather on the uh, interior and exterior of the glove right in through there, and that's mainly geared towards high durability areas uh, and then utilizing the cable mesh. So giving some uh, additional um, durability characteristics over traditionally used nylon, uh, but maintaining all the flex, uh, flex characteristics of uh, of nylon which consumers mm -hmm. are, are looking for nowadays. Also what we focused on is uh, some free flex technologies within the glove to make that glove kind of feel like it's it's broken in immediately. So you'll notice in the thumb thumb area right in through here it's a three piece constructed thumb uh, allowing for that thumb to move very freely and then in the cuff maximizing the the protection elements but not uh, not maintain or not uh, uh, constricting the player during movement. Now when you go to the X60 Pro you'll see we're using traditional nylons mm -hmm. uh, along with the cable mesh to add some different kind of uh, uh, textures to the glove uh, but maintaining a lot of the characteristics that, are, that a pro player is looking for. Again that flexibility in the thumb region uh, and looking at uh, you know ultimately the, uh, a very good feeling palm uh, with the digital Nash palm. Yeah, and kind of going on to the palm, what uh, what benefits is that digital Nash going to have over a more traditional Nash? It's a it's a little bit. It's more. Uh, it's all geared towards the feel. So the integration between the the stick to the hand, uh, what we feel is you know uh, what we feel is it, it gives that that integration and the feel uh, is is taking the next step for for the player. Mm -hmm. So now you guys are using a different palm though on the X60 um, version. Why don't you kind of give us the rundown of some of those differences between you know your ch traditional palm? Okay, uh, with the digital Nash again, uh, you know, kind of focusing the X60 Pro on uh, kind of that you know the elite level player, but you know a little bit older, the you know the pro aspiring pro player, uh, and giving him the feel that he wants there. Uh, meanwhile, with the X60 glove, what we uh, what we found is uh, you have to have a healthy compromise or a, help, a healthy uh, uh, compromise between you know all the different materials that you use. So, uh, just looking at the palm itself, we're still get, using that digital Nash, which gives you the you know the premium feel that you're looking for. But in through that top region, right in through this uh, this area right there, 
Uh, we're using a material that's not uh, synthetic leather that's mm -hmm. traditionally used. It's more of a micro mold uh, that we developed. And, and again, it's not about uh, it's not about impeding the feel or anything like that. But it's all about high durability within uh, within the glove. And we've uh, we started w doing some uh, standard testing protocol uh, out of our our D and D facility in Saint Jerome, Quebec. And uh, when we tested this product, it, it generally lasts uh, uh, it generally lasts roughly around. Uh, three times uh, the the average length of a of a traditionally constructed pump. Yeah, I mean that's definitely a great feature because that's usually kind of the area that yeah. wears through and yeah, we, get a new pair. Yeah, again, we're spending a lot of time with uh, consumers at many different events. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you generally start you talking to them about where their palm is occurring. It's always in that, you know, the top of their hand in uh, in that palm uh, palm area right up in the top. So, uh, just looking at ways taking some of the key insights that the consumer has and uh, bringing them some some uh, some tangible uh, benefits uh, that they can buy into. So. Yeah, definitely.